Okay, how do you make a trend line in Google Spreadsheets? Okay, so this is something that comes up a bit. So you have some data here. I just made up some stuff, force and displacement. I just totally made up some numbers and put them in here uh, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. You might want to use actual real stuff too. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is first make a chart. So I'm going to highlight this stuff, including the labels up top. That's what I would recommend and then go up here to insert chart. Now you have to be careful, okay? You don't want to put a line chart. You want this one. This is an XY scatter chart, okay? So I click that, I click insert, and boom, there's my chart. And it even has, it, it automatically puts the first column that you have as the horizontal and this is the vertical. If you want them differently, then just switch those, okay? There's another way to do it, but just it's easier to just put that over there, put F column and C, and then you'll be fine. Okay, so now here I have my four data points. Everything looks awesome. You can edit these things if you want, but I don't really care. And now I'm going to click one of these data points, and up here there's some options. I'm going to click trend line. Linear is what I want, if that's what you have, and there's your trend line. Of course, the trend line is pretty useless uh, all by itself. You really want the equation for it. So if I right click, oh, let me click up here, right click and go to advanced edit and then scroll down here, scroll down to, scroll down to, you can change the trend line. Let's see, where is it? Data labels, series, scale, I always miss this. Slant, okay, I'm missing again. Data labels, no, trend line, label, use equation. Okay, and then click, and you can show R squared too if you want, update. Now you see here I have the chart has, uh, for this label, Y equals 20.46X minus 0.283 with the R squared value. Uh, so this is my slope right there, 20.468, and that's what you wanted. And you could edit that legend if you want, but really you need the slope. Okay, so that's how you find the slope of the equation in Google Spreadsheets. Have fun.